All right, Coach, uh, 37 points tonight or 36 points. Um, what would your offense do well tonight that you liked and what, <laughs> what they need to work on? Oh, yeah. Well, wait, I, there's a few growing pains tonight, oh. you know. Um, you know, I mean, we didn't, we, you know, we got to hang on the football. Uh, turnovers obviously killed us. Penalties killed us. Just made a lot of, it just were really kind of out of sync the whole night. Um, I never felt like in rhythm, didn't felt the guys got kind of the rhythm of the game. And, uh, you know, and at times, our times our youth kind of showed through. So, uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I'm awesome for the defense. They did a great job. You know, it's a win. Um, but it's also sometimes sometimes it's a blessing that you have games like this so our kids can kind of refocus and understand, you know, the things we got to get done during the course of the game. And then Brett, um, he, he looked like he struggled a little bit. Did you see the same thing? or? Yeah, I mean, I think he, you know, I think they kind of came after him a little bit. He, you know, they brought some pressure on him. Um, you know, it's just all part of the learning curve for, for a, you know, a young quarterback, you know, and then he's then, then he's got two young tackles that are, that are, that are in, that, in that boat with him. So, you know, it's, it, it, to me, it was a night that, uh, that, that I think will pay dividends down the road because I think there was a lot of learning that was going on tonight by the guys. And that offensive line, losing Baca, did you notice a difference with him out? Yeah, that... I did. I did. I'm going to say I did. You know, he's kind of the only guy that's really, had any, that's really played at all in the whole group. Mm. You know, and he kind of, he kind of, he's our rock in there. He kind of gives us a little bit of stability. And I think maybe those, you know, the other kids came in and did a really good job for us. But obviously, any time you lose some one of your most experienced guys, it's going to affect you. And and you, you switched a little bit with Downey and Capella. Was there a reason for the switching or? Um, no, we were just trying to, you know, work guys in and trying yeah. to, you know, roll these kids up. And lastly, uh, the Dayton Jones play. Uh, oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah he's our leading scorer on offense. <laughs> uh, no, and he made a great catch. You know, I had both him. We had both him and Cassius in there, so it was uh, it was fun. I was happy for him. All right, Coach. Cool. Uh, a near shutout. Uh, big defensive day. Uh, what did you see from the sidelines, and what'd you like? Uh, the great, uh, the kids, uh, not the kids. The student athletes did an excellent job of. Um, Executing their assignments and um, stopping the run, and then uh, making a point at the at the pass game and, uh, yards after the catch. Did a nice job stopping. Mm. And and w what was kind of the the reason you were so effective? I mean, this team ran 77 plays last week and all those yards and everything. I know that they're a quick tempo team. Um, they're a great offensive team. Um, the quarterback did a nice job throughout the season. You know, he put a lot of yards, and there was a challenge. Um, they're going to try to challenge. They got great skill receivers and a good running back. So it, it was a nice challenge for, for our defense. You scored now three weeks in a row on your defense with the safety last week. Damian Holmes the first week, and um, you know Kendricks this this afternoon. Uh, what, what is? Do you teach you guys to be opportunistic like that? I mean, oh yeah. It, um, since uh, since day one we got here, um, we have a center on the defense in which uh, any opportunity uh, make the best of it. Mm. Um, you have to get our job is to create turnovers and get give the ball to our offense and uh, the players respond each week. And it's always a challenge and, um, and uh, they're responding. And you got some of your, your freshmen in there a little bit tonight with Rios and, and Fabian Moreau even got in. Yeah, and Fabian did a nice job and Randall Gopher is doing a great yeah. job too. I think, I think Randall, Randall had an interception. Yeah, 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 he did, yeah. Randall had a nice job and Alice did a great job in the run too, stopping the run and, and rushing the passer. I think he had a block. I think he, I think he had the PBU. Yeah, the he knocked one out, yeah. yeah. Did you, uh, I, did you kind of expect to get this kind of production out of that freshman class so early? Oh, yeah. Um, like we said when we first started, is uh, we're putting our best players on the field. And um, there's always competition. And um, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or a fifth-year senior. Is, um, if you have an opportunity on the field, make the most of it. And um, you can see Sheldon uh, being a fifth-year senior, making uh, three interceptions in the Rose Bowl. Um, that's special. And then also the young guys, Randall, and then Allison Rushton. So make the best of the opportunities. And lastly, we've asked you this kind of every week, but what, what's the biggest thing you need to work on after this one? Oh, shoot, we still got to gotta stop the run. And you can see at the end, uh, quarterback did a nice job. Um, you can see how uh, we've been stressing all week. This guy can run, and sure enough, he kept it and ran. Mm -hmm. That and then um, tackle, 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 tackle. <laughs> we'll, we'll make sure we'll tackle during, uh, uh, during next week's preparation.